Welcome everyone to sunny Batavia, Illinois, just outside Chicago. All right, and today, uh, as you can see in front of us here, are a bit of spicing wings that Bob has brought to us today. And Bob, can you tell us a little bit about these wings? So we have uh, wings from Buffalo Wild Wings uh, in North Aurora, just up the road. And it looks like we're starting with um, some spicy, uh, spicy garlic, starting off pretty light, and then we're gradually moving up the spectrum. We're gonna be ending today with their blazing wings, which actually has a warning label. So the warning says, Blazing sauce may irritate eyes or skin. Wash with large amounts of water, exclamation point. So that's where we're gonna end up today, but what we're doing is talking about packages while we're eating these wings. Umbraco packages, not just any packages. And uh, we might hit each other with a, a random question here or there, uh, something that might be apropos. Uh, so without further ado, we're gonna kind of explain the format here. I think we're gonna do five packages each, and we're going to uh, precede each one with a uh, spicy wing. Of yep, some sort. we're gonna bite a wing and then we're gonna talk about our packages. So I guess <laughs> we should probably start with a wing and this is the spicy garlic. Spicy garlic. Ooh, wow. And they made them wet. Ah. <laughs> go ahead and grab this one right here. And here we go. All right. What's one of your favorite packages from Bracco? Since we started out with a, a mellow practical sauce here, uh, I wanted to go with a practical package and I actually chose the Robots TXT Editor by Lee Kelleher because uh, when I started using Umbraco Cloud, full disclosure, I didn't know how to use Git. So uh, I needed to have something that I could edit things like Robots TXT right in the uh, Umbraco UI. So Robots TXT is my first pick for a uh, package. Very good. Um, I think my first package I'll have to pick it's just uh, kind of one that you might use if you need some sort of geo coordinates, and that's TerraType by Jonathan Richards. And essentially, it's just a back office property editor that will allow you to uh, basically geocode a location and a search and all that, and then you can uh, render it on the front end and uh, help your uh, editors articulate exactly what's going on with a, a location. And do the maps render in the back office as well as part yes. of the data type? Yes, they do. So uh, you can uh, type in an address, uh, move the marker on the map, all kinds of different things. Awesome. Ooh, that one looks... So we're moving up the spectrum. This is just hot, right? This, this is just called this, just hot. There's no safety label on this one. Nope, right? no safety okay. label. I think we're just, uh, we're moving our way up the spectrum here. So okay. ready? Here oh, we go. Yes. <laughs> Yep, this is gonna get interesting. Yeah. All right. One that I find very hot is the uh, the Log Trace Viewer by uh, Dan Booth, and um, that one makes it really easy, especially when you're, whew, <laughs> especially when you're uh, you're um, trying to get the log and you don't want to get onto the server. You can just go into the uh, developer section, I believe it is, and it'll have a in the tree, and you can click on that and. Um, yeah, so it avoids at least me logging onto the server if something blows up, at least. Well, uh, since uh, we're moving up the spectrum here, uh, this hot sauce actually is my go-to sauce when I actually get wings at Buffalo Wild Wings. So uh, my go-to package is the RJP Multi Picker mm, uh, by Rasmus John Peterson, RJP. I picked this one because it's kind of the uh, picker that rules them all. So uh, whether it's media, uh, content or uh, linking out to an external resource. The editors can control that all from one space. Uh, actually, one of the things that got me into uh, strongly typed as well because it's just great documentation to go with live to show how to use it. So I, that's definitely my go-to. That's a great choice. All right, we're moving on up the spectrum. We are on uh, number round number three now, I think. And uh, that was uh, last one was a significant jump. So this one is mango habanero. Uh, habanero, that just sounds hot. Yeah, habanero sounds hot. Uh, uh, at least there's the mango. Ooh, a little fancy wing in there, yeah, too. Kinda, I like that. Kind of like a little glaze to yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, so, whew, here we go. No, I'm going to grab this sticky. fancy one. Yeah. Oh, man, sticky. I'm feeling it after a couple bites. But, all in all, okay. But all we right. need to keep moving. Mm. All right. So, Mango habanero. When I think of mango, I think fancy. And uh, so my package for this round is the uh, Icon Picker. Uh, and it's actually by Sunefa Lind. And uh, so I think fancy, I think the Icon Picker because this uh, 
this data type allows my editors to actually make their content on the front end fancy by decorating with icons. Wow. I think that's all I got. <laughs> all right. I would love to ask you about it, but it's really starting to heat up over here. Cool. So, icons. Wow. Okay. So, uh, fancy. When I think of fancy, I think of new pickers because sometimes it takes a little bit of a fancier uh, approach to programming to do some custom things, but I like uh, new pickers by Hendy because it it's very... Uh, convenient to be able to have drop downs and things like that from a data source so okay all right we are on to round number four which okay so that means this guy right yes, here right we are this See, sauce is called these, wild these don't look like they're gonna burn your face off but right now I'm, I'm starting to feel I don't the know. mango. I see the last one. bits and flakes of probably what I would consider peppery looking things. Okay, so, so this one right. is called wild. Arm yourself. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know if I'd sniff fire you. Ah. What I have a feeling this is gonna like, like make its presence known really quickly. I think you're up. I shouldn't lick my fingers. I'm up, and uh, you know what? I'm gonna actually take one of yours too. It's the uh, the multi URL picker by Rasmus. Um, I think that's uh, equally as needed in the Umbraco core. Uh, it's just one of those things. Hey, I need to do content media or external URL. One of the three, kind of mutually exclusive, and that's the that package. I think. Uh, we should go to. I have one called URL Picker that Tom Fulton and I use, but I think the uh, multi URL picker is kind of like more popular and that's probably going to be more in demand. Well, URL Picker is one that you guys did as just a demonstration of how to make custom data types, yes. right? Some will say that we did that live right there. Some will say we practiced the night before. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> it felt pretty live to me. All right, we'll go with that. All right. All right, so uh, as you can tell, I've been doing a theme with the sauces themselves because I had a, you know, insiders track on what sauces we're going to be having. So when I think of wild, I think of uh, the demonstrations that I've seen from the team at Laquati. Every time I've watched one of their demos. How do uh, you say that, by the way? Laquati. Uh, so you okay. got to make it sound really sexy in Spanish. OK. Um, but uh, they demoed several things uh, at various code gardens, and it's always been a wild demonstration. Uh, the package that I'm wow. talking about today is Le Blender. If you're doing anything with the grid, uh, Le Blender just makes it great because you can just pick on the fly and visually build these uh, special content types for the grid. And mm -hmm. My tongue's getting numb, so. So, uh, with Blender, I just recently discovered that one myself, and because I really haven't done a whole lot of grid stuff, so one thing I wanted to do is kind of research a little bit. And it seems that without the Blender, you need to do some work yourself to have these custom types, and that will help you yeah. have these quicker. It saves you that time of editing that JSON config file. It's basically a front end for that. Works great. Awesome. Now we're bringing out the final. This is round five. This is the blazing wings. one should be our hottest package each, right? This is our hottest pack, my hottest package for sure. Oh man. And this has a warning label. There's so a bee hanging out here. Okay. It's perfect. Better We've just upped the danger level in all aspects. We've got uh, bees, blazing wings. Remember, do not touch your eyes or your face after uh, this one. I gotta itch my nose. Okay. Are we ready? No. For blazing? No. I've uh. never had, I, <laughs> full disclosure, I've never had one of these. Uh, so me either. This is, here we go. All right. Mm. Oh my gosh, Marty. Oh shit. I'm already feeling Can it. Can you believe that? Nope. <laughs> All right, this is definitely a step up from wild. Oh, why am I still eating? All right, I'm cleaning it. I'm doing it. Oh, that is hot. Okay, I need the bee to go away. So now I have to talk about my number five package, but also my number one package on the list. I'd have to say, uh -huh. Big shout out to Umco and uh, Lee Kelleher, Matt Brailsford, and Rich Green. Package I'm using all the time right now. It's so good, so hot that it's been now part of the core in 7.0. <laughs> Nested content. That's my favorite. Uh, good choice. It's an easy thing to work with where you, it talks and it speaks in the. Woo, how you doing, man? I'm speaks, not doing well. Speaks in the metaphor of Umbraco, so you can create uh, document types and then nest those. So, uh, nesting content is great, and I can't speak anymore. All right. Oh. Okay, so my hottest package would be by far Vorto yes. by Matt Brailsford. 
you're doing a one-to-one -one language translation, <laughs> you gotta use Vorto. I mean, it's so simple. You just wrap other things. I can wrap an archetype. I can wrap a URL picker, an RTE. I can make it be any language I want, as long as I can translate it. <laughs> and that works everywhere too, including cloud as well, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's a good one. So there we go. Can you run down the five that you picked? Okay, I think I started with Robots TXT, uh, yeah. and then I moved on to RJP Multi Picker. <laughs> then I went for my fancy Mango. Nope. Yes, I did. Fancy Mango Icon Picker, and then from there I went to the Spicy. Oh no, the Wild Le Blender. Uh huh. And then finish off with the Blazing Hot Nested Content. <sighs> okay. I don't Can know. You? I don't know if I can remember them all because I'm just not here right now. I'm somewhere else right here. I'm gonna have another one while you're saying um, it. Uh, I know I'm Teratype, Vorto, Multi URL Picker, New Pickers, and Dan uh, Booth's Trace View Logger thingy. And how can you eat more right now? How can you do this? So I'm gonna. All right. That's so hot. <laughs> 